Hi, Dr. Felton with Grateful Heart Vet Hospital here to show you how to check your cat's blood glucose at home with the AlphaTrack 2 system. So we have little Belle here and I'm going to show you the supplies we need. I'll have you come in to see. We need our AlphaTrack 2, our test strips here, which look like this, um, a little piece of gauze, a 25 gauge needle, and some old fashioned chapstick. So um, first off, the ear vein of the cat runs along the outside of the ear, um, really close to the edge. It's about that far from the edge of the ear, so about two millimeters. And um, we use old fashioned chapstick as a little glaze on the edge of the ear um, to make, when we poke the vein with our needle, it will make the blood bead up rather than spread out onto the fur. So it's actually very helpful. I use a 25 gauge needle, a new one, this is not a used one, rather than the stylet because the stylet makes a sound that goes snap and it scares the cat. This is silent, so I like that. Um, and we go ahead and put our test strip in. Since we're ready, we have the chapstick on the ear and all. We check on our um, thing to make sure that 37 is the cat sitting and that's exactly what that just said. Now it tells me that it's ready with a drop. So I go ahead and I hold the ear carefully. I poke the vein just once like that and I squeeze on either side. You can see the bead of blood come up. I touch it to the black part of the test strip. I hear the tone. And our blood glucose is 221. And I just take a little piece of gauze onto her ear here and just give a little bit of pressure and that helps it clot and everything looks great. She won't end up with too bad of a bruise there because of me, she did quite well. And that is how you check your blood glucose of your cat at home. Thanks, Belle.